What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. New year, new cabinets. Check it out on this one today. We're gonna look at the mid-size Nintendo Vertical Arcade Cabinet. All right guys, so this one I'm super excited about. First things first, this is going out to a cousin on my wife's side. This is going out to the Etta family. Um, Cesar wants to buy his wife, Nancy, an arcade cabinet. I told my wife, she was like, are you sure? I said, yes, I got the message. He wants an arcade cabinet. He goes, Vic, the wife likes Miss Pac-Man. Anytime somebody just starts off the bat with Miss Pac-Man, that automatically means you need a vertical style cabinet or a vertical screen. So all the bad, if you automatically tell me, hey Vic, I want Miss Pac-Man, that means you do need a vertical screen. I can't stress it enough. For you to properly play a Miss Pac-Man game, you need vertical. Yes, you could play Miss Pac-Man on a horizontal screen, but it will result in a smaller image and also with the sidebars and all that. And some people don't like it. The real way to play it is with a vertical screen. And with Game Room Solutions, they just announced this whole mid-size kind of cabinet styles. Um, basically, it's their take on the arcade one-ups. I got super excited for this one personally because I was gonna order it like for myself, but cousin messaged me and said, hey Vic, let's get the wife from Miss Pac-Man machine. So I said, hey, if you're down to try it, they just made this new cabinet, are you down to try it? He goes, Vic, let's do it. So I'm super excited to show off the Game Room Solutions mid-size NIN, it's called a mid-NIN vertical cabinet. So also what's kind of cool about this is that I just learned that I'm, I believe from the email I got, apparently I'm the first one um, to order this cabinet. I did kind of think of that because there are no videos, there aren't really any other like customer pictures. So I'm not gonna say I'm the first one, but let's take this video as a review on the Game Room Solutions Mid Nintendo Vertical Cabinet. So off the bat, this video is not sponsored by Game Room Solutions. This was not a free cabinet. I wish it was, one day I'll be sponsored, but this right now is a fully purchased. I'm a customer, I purchased it fully, so I didn't get any um, kind of discounts or anything like that. So this is a complete, true, honest review of this. So off the bat, it is half inch um, wood. Kind of freaked me out, but again, it is their take on the arcade one-up. I'm personally not a fan of the arcade one-ups. They are very cheaply made. This actual cabinet though, I'll be honest, is heavier than an arcade one-up, not including the riser. Um, just the cabinet one is definitely heavier than your standard arcade one-up cabinet. This is really using MDF wood, and again, it's a half inch. Big thing I did want, and I think it's, it's the easiest thing, and basically for all my customers, Anytime you mention Miss Pac-Man, I'm going to automatically suggest the vertical. This right now is running a 60 in one. I do have the trackball add on on this. And I think this is really the beginner level arcade cabinet. If you are looking to get into the arcade game or if you're looking to do a DIY kit, I think this setup right here with a 60 in one is your best way to get your toes into like emulation as far as multi cades and it's also easy to wire up. So if you are looking at this specific unit, this is running a 60 in one. Um, I'll go later on in depth about what I purchased from Game Solutions and what I suggest not and what to buy. So we'll discuss that later on. But for right now, let's just take a closer look at the cabinet. So taking a closer look at the cabinet itself, it is basically two separate pieces, just like how the RK one ups are. You have your cabinet, your real RK cabinet, and then you have the riser. This probably took me about two hours to completely build um, from scratch. This probably, from my experience, this is probably their first ever arcade cabinet that has this tall of a single piece of MDF. Their upright is divided into two. I'll be honest, sandwiching, like putting the last final side was a tedious task, but again, I was working alone, so that is not a cabinet thing. Um, again, took about two hours to complete. We got the custom artwork. Game Room Solutions helped me out with the artwork. Customer, my cousin, wanted Miss Pac-Man and they wanted to add this little Etta Mom 4 slogan to it. Uh, I contacted Michael from Game Room Solutions. He hooked it up. I asked him, please, I need it in the same font style as Miss Pac-Man. So if you think about it, Game Room Solutions doing the artwork on this. Really cool. I basically said, hey, I want the Miss Pac-Man artwork that you have on the bar tops. And they made it on the vertical cab so also for the riser you can see the artwork there we got the ghosts on the sides same thing in the front we got miss pac-man with the etta mom 4 slogan and the faceplate on the actual cabinet again this is running a 22 inch monitor 
from like his videos i thought i could do a bigger monitor but no it is 22 inches you can't go bigger than a 22 inch marquee is cool it is on the smaller side but it does work so it's it's pretty good and again as far as the right side we got the same thing this pac-man at a mom four and it's a great looking cabinet i'll be honest standing next to it i'll put the camera down and i'll stand next to it um it is a really good height if you take a look back at my miss pac-man galaga cabaret cabinet that i got my cousin this is the same exact height as the cabaret i believe this clocks in at 62 inches tall with the riser it's it's great again i'm going to put the the camera down and i'll stand next to it just so you could see it because in ryan's video you don't really get to see a person standing next to it but again i'm 5'9 5'11 whatever you want to do it i'm not hunched over playing this so this is awesome definitely a good height a riser is a must but they do give it to you so no complaints there it is definitely a must to be on the riser and again what's really cool is that it is pretty heavy i mean i'm not gonna lie to you this thing is not gonna go anywhere it's heavy it's also got the four bolts to hold it to the riser but all in all really cool i even wrote to michael and ryan i was like listen i think you guys should take this idea and do a full size um upright nintendo style um but let's take a closer look as far as software so software on this again to keep things easy and again for my customers you basically got the 60 in one board we could do a pandora's box you could do a raspberry pi and then you could do a pc build for simple this is the best way to go and again if you are a beginner this is the best way to go it is a 60 in one this plays all your vertical games so you got centipede miss pac-man you got donkey kong a lot of stuff there's there's definitely games that everybody recognizes and knows so 60 and one the also the big advantage of the 61 is that it's very easy to add the trackball as far as software though um game room solutions does not supply the 60 and one um i got the 60 and one board from like this holland computer company um i suggest getting everything from them so it's a 60 and one they also supply you the buttons not the coin button though they do supply you the five buttons and a joystick this is the joystick from holland um electronics i'll post the link in the description uh what's great about their joystick is that it could be moved to a four-way so it's got the little gate there that you could do eight-way to four-way all these games honestly are four-way now if you're like me you probably like hey can i grab a real miss pac-man joystick this will not fit um you can see the square on it but also there is no cutout on the actual joystick itself there is no cutout it's not like the trackball cutout there's no joystick cutout so unfortunately if you took this and lined it up you have no space really for a joystick whereas the holland computer joystick you can see it there you got a lot of space for miss pac-man action so as far as software um definitely go with the holland computer site i ordered the trackball from game room solutions this is the two inch or two and a half inch um i probably would pass on it it's the same trackball but game room solutions does not have the cable that goes to the 60 and one and holland computer sells it for 50 bucks with the cable that works with 60 and one so for me i suggest not getting the trackball from game room solutions not that their trackball is bad, but it didn't come with the wire hookups. So now you have to spend another 20 bucks on a wire hookup. You might as well get everything from Holland Computers. There we go. This came in the little packaging for the 16 one. So it's Retro Arcade. Again, hollandcomputers.com. I would probably suggest getting everything as far as software wise for the 16 one from these guys. They ship fast, good stuff, very easy to set up. Also, it does come with an actual arcade power supply. I'll pull the machine down or I'll spin it uh, just to show you how I did the hookups because some people do like to see how electrical is done. Um, as far as modifications that I personally did, um, you can kind of see I did add the LED strip there that wasn't with Game Room Solutions. I basically just made a half inch hole. There is enough room. And I just put LEDs because I am the LED king. So LED marquee. We got the LED back, and then also what's cool is that they have a lot of vents on the back of the cabinet, 
So there is LED glow going from the back and there's also LED glow in the stand. Again, it's just in the back, but LEDs are LEDs. Now, as far as gaming solutions, again, I did get their um, amp set up with the speaker, which I think is a great price. They do give you two speakers. My desk is a mess, but they do give you two speakers with the price. It's an amp, everything you need to power it. Um, but with this cabinet, you only need one speaker. And I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks. Easy sell. This is running gaming solutions speaker on it. Now, as far as like for me and my customers, I like to have like the volume easy to, to access. I'll be honest, this control panel is pretty tight, um, meaning you don't have much hand room. There's not a lot of hand room. I mean, that's not anybody's issue. It's just, a ma I was gonna put the amp here to fix the volume. It just wasn't gonna cut it. It was it was too big, it's, it's not too big. It, there's not enough room. So I basically put the amp in the back right here. So again, when I spin the unit, I'm just taking pictures right now for the website. Uh, when I spin the unit, I'll show you the amp. Uh, but all in all, pretty solid. We got half inch yellow T-molding. I put the T-molding on and it's great. I mean, again, it is a beautiful cabinet, definitely eye-catching. I'm pretty sure anybody would love this. And again, it's a vertical cabinet. So me personally, I'm definitely gonna get one of my own. I'm gonna personally do Donkey Kong artwork, orange, just like how this cabinet was really like, you know, meant to be or the original cabinet was. Um, so I would probably do Donkey Kong theme, but it's great. Could put some coins in. Again, 60 in one, so this has 60 games. Joystick, very responsive. Uh, let's do some Miss Pac-Man. So, button one to start. You gotta press start button on that. And again, I have the volume pretty low, but speaker's there. And again, Holland Computers joystick set to four-way. Again, very responsive joystick on this. 22 inch. It's always difficult to play this while looking through the viewfinder. <laughs> Let me try it again. And it's great because it saved your high scores. It's awesome. This is definitely, again, it is a JAMA arcade board, PCB. You could go into the settings and speed up Ms. Pac-Man if you want. But I also do like this setup because that speaker, it's perfect. That's, that's retro. You know, there's not bass, there's no subwoofers. That is really how it was. And it's mono, so it's only one single speaker, not stereo. Um, only thing about the 16 ones is that you kind of have to die or let the game end for you to go back into the menu. Um, I always like to set these things up for coins. So I have the coin button. That's the only button that's illuminated. And I do have like the coin logo. You just can't see it in the video. But basically, once the game is over, it brings you back into this. Also, I do like this coin mode because it does go into a track mode. Um, basically, if you don't touch it, it's going to cycle through the games, give, it, give you a little preview of the game and such. So... Awesome stuff. Again, 22 inch monitor. There's your little attract mode. All right, so I set the camera up just so you can kind of see at least the height wise on this thing. Again, everything you see here, stock from Gaming Solutions. You got the riser, you got the cabinet. So it's a pretty good height. Again, for the, um, if you go back to the actual Miss Pac-Man Galaga um, cabaret that I got from my cousin Gino, it's in the same height range. And luckily, honestly, and I do see it now why the marquee is small it's so you can see the screen. So again, they really thought it out. It's pretty good. I'll play a quick game of Galaga. And again, me standing here, I can see the high score. And you can always tilt the screen more back. I mean, if you don't get your ship captured within the first or second level, do you really know how to play Galaga, my guys? So looking at this right now, I definitely wouldn't suggest LED buttons, um, only because I don't know if you could see it on the screen, but my coin button, it is you know basically reflecting off so I would not suggest um, any LED buttons, honestly, because you could see it. 
that's my coin button right there this is really the first time i i just finished the video because i just finished the build because i have to ship this out tomorrow and deliver it to jersey so now that i look at it i mean it's not a big deal you know you could always take it out but i would not put three led buttons on this um again buttons from holland computer good feeling buttons um the real way galaga miss pac-man i mean miss pac-man didn't have a fire button but the real way is that this is a leaf switch so it's not really a micro switch that actually clicks it's a leaf switch but again all in all it is definitely an awesome cabinet we'll take a look at it in the darkness now so turn off the garage light okay cool so this is night mode again in the camera it kind of washes out a little bit but in person it's pretty cool so this is what it looks like at night again we have the led strip underneath the control deck this way it kind of illuminates the kick plate um and it also illuminates the stand the riser um marquee looks great you can see how the black the back glow is uh because of the vents in the back i also have the led controller here so with the controller we could set it to fade pink yellow red and it looks good normally like the led controllers i usually have inside the control deck or sometimes up above on my bar tops but it's just it looks great i don't want to put it anywhere i'm going to probably just sneak it into the stand because the stand does have a little pocket underneath so you could always store stuff there but all in all mid-sized nintendo vertical cabinet it is definitely a plus on my list so i just want to show you real quick with that awkward video i just took um just want to show you it you know one person could lift this you know the top part up i don't have it bolted down right now but What's really great about the design is that this riser does go it does go edge to edge as far as front to back. There is a gap here on purpose, and um, Game Room Solutions labels it on purpose as they do want stability. They don't want this thing to tip over, and it's great. I did want to put like LED going here, but I'm not a fan of visible LEDs, so I didn't do that. Now I always suggest that spend the extra five bucks i always do it on all my cabinets but just getting the rocker switch and the plug it's so much worth it it just keeps everything clean um so in their pictures um i guess they did a redo or a remodel there was really only two panels this actually has four so you have the bottom plate that doesn't move these are two doors so this is one door and up above is a second door so really cool you'd be surprised i was basically using both doors um, a lot. Very kind of fragile, to be honest. Again, half inch MDF, the doors are fragile. I'll show you what happened with the one on the bottom, but that was my fault. But real quick, you could see how the marquee is. Um, this here, I did it on purpose pointing out because of the grills. And also, uh, I didn't want any lighting on the side of the monitor. It really would have washed out. It wouldn't really look good so this right here is on purpose normally i do go up the wall and then to the marquee but i didn't want to do that i tried that originally here but you could really see it uh from the front so went down and again clean wiring as far as monitor mounts and again with the monitor you could probably tilt back the way i have it set up right now i could probably tilt back a little more um the bottom row is all the way to the last one. This one's like second to last. I'd probably go one more um, to give it a tilt. Um, but real quick, we'll take a look at the bottom part, which is the mecha as far as wiring. So up above, you have your basic wiring for your arcade buttons. Always try to keep it nice and clean, nice and tight. So I got my cable ties holding the wiring and then down so this is all jamma wiring they do give you the jamma harness it's set for two players shockingly you do need two player start uh for the start button down there that's for one player start and two player start to initiate two players um as far as going down holland computers does give you the power supply and some people do like to you know understand how wiring is um basically on the bottom you do have direct current um from the plug so my monitors i always cut the power i cut the head and i just basically put it into the main in 
Um, same thing goes for, not the same thing, I'm sorry. LED strips, there's a five volt option, a five volt kind of header thing on the power supply. Uh, five volts, the whole like power plug goes right on into that. The only thing that didn't work was the amp. I plugged the amp directly into the 12 volt. There's a 12 volt block there, wooden power on. So basically what I did is I added a separate single outlet into the main power in. Uh, I know I'm not sounding right, but I think you get the hint. Um, and basically again, as far as the volume controller, I'm gonna lift up the door and I'll discuss the door, but right there. So you could just literally come here and raise the volume. Now, big thing is that I put this in my truck, I took it off my truck, and I guess the door kind of just swung open, and yeah. But it's nothing major, just gotta be kind of careful opening the door and closing it. But other than that, again though, that's half inch um, MDF. That is my fault, that's nothing to blame. Definitely keep your doors secure. And that's really it. Honestly, with this now down below, this is the little hatch to go into the stand. As you can see, oh well, I'm backwards. There is a hole on the other side for the stand, right there. Uh, and basically, the the when I do get to the customer's house, I'm gonna basically double edge tape the power block to there, just so that it gets you know some illumination. I can't do it now because I have to separate the pieces. So this I'll clean up when I get to the customer's house. Um, last thing I do want to mention, as you know, my coin button is an LED button. I have this LED button wired directly to five volts. Um, so that's not communicating how I normally do with the LED strips where it fades in and fades out. That LED light is always on basically. That is honestly it guys. There you guys have it. This is the midsize nintendo vertical cabinet nancy i hope you enjoy your birthday gift